but thanks. Um, I, I want to talk to you about coming back from injury and how different that's been because you're right on team, we all remember the game of Portugal and how easy it seemed for you and yeah. then, you know, David Norris scoring the goal. Things were coming very easy to you, so when you have to suffer a setback, what's it like? Um, it, it was difficult because, uh, like you said, I kind of just I came onto the scene quick at, at Norwich and obviously here on the international stage. Um, obviously, the, the, my debut against Portugal and then coming back here playing Serbia and Azerbaijan and these teams. And then obviously, uh, I had a got a stress fracture on my back, so that kept me up for six to seven months. So, going from all those highs to suddenly in the space of two weeks to going probably the lowest, I couldn't do anything, gym work, nothing. I just had to naturally rest. So, it was tough, but happily, I've, that's, a, that's behind me and I've no problems with my back anymore. So. Did you worry, I mean, going back into full contact training and stuff, was, was there a little bit of doubt? Yeah, definitely. I was, that was the first time in my whole career that I was out for more than, more than a month. So um, six months is a long time and obviously I had to ease myself in and I was a bit anxious, obviously, because your back, you do everything with your back. Um, but look, I got a lot of confidence in the first few weeks when I got no pain. Um, after the time the physios... They gave me a plan to come back, and I was back on time, so it was good. Can you remember a moment, a, a clearance, a header, or a, or a shot where you feel like I'm, I'm fine now? Yeah, I think we played uh, Kings Lynn away in a friendly, and um, I was starting that game, and I was I was proper nervous. Like I was like, oh, I don't know here, like what what's going to happen with my back and stuff. Um, so I, th- I think it's just a couple of passes, and then you know just step, just stuff that you kind of take for granted when you're playing football, like stepping up with the line, being with your back four, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, after I just kind of forgot about it. And I remember coming in at half time, the boys are like, How's your back? And I was like, but it's, it's gone, like I don't feel it. So yeah, that was probably the moment. And how are you now? Yeah, I'm all good. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel good. I'm just happy, happy to be back here. It's been, I think, a year and a half, and I'm just over the moon to be back here. And what are your hopes for getting involved in the Athletic game, obviously, first of all, and possibly even against France? Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's a massive privilege, privilege to play for Ireland, so if I can be involved in any of the games, um, that would be great, especially on my return, so that that's the plan. When you look at someone like France and, and the players they have, and like, would you like to test yourself against in battle? Yeah, it's, the, it's the ultimate test, really, to see where you are as a player and as a team, because obviously we know France are, are a good nation. Um, so it'll be a good test for us, but the boys are up for it. Thank you. Good luck. Hi, Andrew. Um, you, you haven't played in the last six or weeks from the start. Is, is that being difficult? And I think it was since the Wigan game was taken off um, it was kind of a, a mixed bag of uh, stuff. So I had um, after my ankle injury, I had the problems with my adductors. So basically, my groins I had a bit overloaded in both my groins. So I just come off the back of playing Saturday, Tuesday games, um, and yeah, they were starting to kind of pipe back up and and start to give me a little bit more problems. So um, I had to get kind of take off the load and that and my training load had to get reduced and stuff like that so I've just had to manage that. How are you feeling now? Yeah no I'm, I'm in a good place now with them. Um, like I said it's just a managing thing with my load and stuff like that. It's uh, so obviously in the championship it, it's relentless. It's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday and this is my first season starting the championship and uh, I'm playing so I've needed to manage my load. If you were asked to mark Kylian Mbappe next Monday, how do you feel about it? I'd be happy, I'd, I'd, I'd embrace it, see where I am, do you know what I mean? You, if after the game you'd be walking off knowing where you are as a player, because obviously that is the ultimate test that, that for any defender in the world, really. Is he something you enjoy watching? Yeah, I think everyone can agree, he's, he's a good player, he's quick, and I'd like to think I, I'm quick as well, so I'd love to probably do a foot race, something like that, see what, how quick I am, do you know what I mean? But yeah. Have you timed yourself? Sorry? Have you timed yourself? Have you, have you done that in sprints in like your fastest time? Yeah, we do it off, I think it's metres per second, okay. something like that, so I think the quickest I've ran is like 10.4 metres per second, so which is quick, but I don't know what Mbappe is, but we'll see anyway. Are you the <laughs> Sorry? Are you the at the um, I'm not too sure, there's a, there's a couple of boys up there, but I'd say, I'd say hopefully I'm up there. Gavin. Harry Andrew, yeah, just a bit on what Neil was asking, since the draw was made, have you found yourself watching PSG and France games thinking, I, w- I really would fancy this? Um, yeah, when the draw came out, um, obviously when you seen the teams in there, it was like I was more excited than anything, because um, like what I just said, it's 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 a perfect to test yourself personally and as a team and as a nation against these top nations. Um, but yeah, it's it's just I'm more just excited to see how it's gonna go. Yeah.
And you also have to test yourself by getting into the team because exactly. there is such competition for places among, well, there's three centre backs, yeah. so pretty stiff competition. Was it hard when you were on the sidelines last year uh, to see those guys playing and, and you not have a chance to, to show what you can do? I think th- it, that's just football, so I think it's, it's great for us to have so many good players in, in each position, and that's only going to get the best out for, for me, instance, centre back position because we have so many good young players in this position, centre back. So, um, to have the boys like Nathan, Darrow, O'Shea, um, boys like that, it's just it's only going to make you better than training and wanting to f- almost fight each other to get in the starting place. So, whoever does get it is going to perform, if that makes sense. When, when I was injured, yeah. um, not much really. It was, it's it's not it's not like a normal injury, you know. Like if you've done your ankle, you'd have to do rehab and stuff for it. With my back, it was just complete shutdown. I had to wear like a back brace, so I was in that for about two months. I couldn't do anything, so I just bleach going in the morning, um, get a massage and go home. So that that was my life for six months. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was difficult. Looking back now. It kind of it made me find myself in certain areas that maybe I wouldn't have found. Um, but yeah, I had, I had good support back at Norwich, and um, I'm just thankful I got through. And the back person, you also know, felt going better night if you change back because you were changing angle like that. No, so yeah, I had to wear the whole time, just not when I slept. I'd take it once I wake up, I'd have to throw it on in that. So yeah. Just on Andrew, uh, because Adam has spoken a little as well about the, the mental challenges when he was out that he hadn't really experienced before or expected that when you're an athlete, people focus on rehab and recovery, but it's, if you just talk about that, how difficult it is, because you, you can't move, you're wondering about your career and everything else, that's, that's a difficult time. Yeah, you have, with my injury, with my back injury, when I'd done my stress back, so it was it was a lot of stuff I was thinking, because I think the worst part about it for me was there wasn't a time that they said, okay, you're going to be out for six months. It was more like we're going to keep scanning it every three weeks and see how it's progressing. So I think that was the most grueling part for me. I was kind of sitting there thinking, like, how long am I going to be out? Can I be back next month or in two months or three months? You can't. I could never plan something like, oh, I want to be back for this game or this international camp. I, I couldn't do that. So um, that was probably the hardest, the hardest bit of it for me is not knowing when I'm going to be back playing. And just on Adam, the fact that he's here, I mean, the, the manager seemed to rule him out there last week and he was on the crutches after the, the midweek game, but, but Adam's coming in, I mean, that's a sign of, I suppose, a two-year dedication, want, want to be here, want to play well for this. Yeah, I think it's similar to Adam, he hasn't been here in a while because of obviously injuries have kind of been unlucky in that sense, but yeah, like what you said, it just shows uh, he got taken off there against Huddersfield, done something to his foot, I think it was, um, got his scans there and he's, he's obviously wanted, wanted to come in because it would be easy for him to be like, oh yeah, have a bit of a knock on arrest but you can see how much he wants to come and play for the country. So and just the last one, Stephen spoke last week about the challenge of facing France. He said it's very difficult, you know, back to back World Cup finals. But he referenced the Portugal game, the fact that we went, as he said himself, toe to toe with Portugal twice, obviously lost the first one but through the second one. Is that something that the squad will maybe speak about that the fact that you can you can take on someone in Portugal and take it into into the France game? Yeah, hundred percent we need to we need to take on a reference off that. Um at the end of the day, you know we know they're a top country World World Cup back to back finals and stuff like that. But at the end of the day when we we get out to the Viva it's eleven v eleven, do you know what I mean? Anything can happen. So um the games against Portugal, Serbia and these these top teams can give us confidence going into the game. John Fallon, please? Yeah, Andrew, just um it's not a lot about Mbappe here, but the fact that you quite early in your career had that blitz where you're playing against Ronaldo, Mitrovic, Harry Kane, yeah. you know, even in that layoff, that really feels when I get back on the table for this. Yeah, um, I kind of at the start, I kind of just got thrown into it. Um, obviously, my debut, and even in, in in the Premier League when I uh, played a couple of games there. But like what I said, it's more of just. A when I come up against these players, it's, that's what I want to do. Do you know what I mean? I want to play against these players week in, week out um, in my career. So to to potentially play against the French national team where all in every position they have world-class players would be a blessing. Finally, sir. Um, Andrew, just saying, uh, uh, did you watch the rugby league again? Or did you get a chance to follow it? Uh, rugby? The rugby? No, I'm not really into rugby. No, but I've seen the Irish team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, we obviously seen all the celebrations and stuff like that and it's great to see Ireland in any sport doing well. So.
Yeah, exactly. That's when you when you see the boys like that in rugby when they when they won there, it's it gives you that look. Oh, we want to do that as well. Do you know what I mean? And these these two games coming up, even though it's a, it's a friendly against Latvia, but we want to go beat Latvia and get confidence from Latvia and bring it into the French game. Yeah. So, just finally, very finally, just Norwich. You're, you're on the periphery of the playoffs. I know. Yeah. National week, but yeah. you're, you're not far off from that, are you not? No, we're not. Yeah. And you think it, can you get in there? What's going to take the whole last ten games or so? Yes, yeah, so there's nine games left. Um, I think at this we just need to take it game by game and really dig in, help each other out. Um, but I think we have the squad for it. It's, it. We weren't really expecting to be where we are, being honest. Um, but we're in this position that we're in now and we just need to really knuckle down and grind out these last nine games. Thank you very much, guys.